Inbal Oshman Shalom. Shalom. And welcome to Culture Buzz. Thank you for having me. It's a great pleasure. Actually, we should say welcome back uh, to Israel. Inbal, where have you been and what is M? Well, I've uh, been to India. Uh, I was uh, back a few weeks ago uh, from a residency in Bangalore. Uh, it was uh, part of a very big festival there uh, produced by Atakalari. And uh, during this uh, residency, I was uh, creating a dance piece for four Indian dancers. And Beautiful, if we may say so, after watching the clip. Thank you so much. Uh, and it was a very exciting and inspiring uh, collaboration with the dancers. Um, since we come from such different backgrounds and different uh, training, it was a very uh, productive and uh, fruitful uh, collaboration. And the piece that I created um, was named M. Since M is the most common sound in the word mother in languages around the world. Uh, and also actually in Hebrew it's the word mother, you say M. Right. So uh, this piece uh, actually was created first in my mind and was inspired by a myth about the goddess Kali, which is an Indian uh, from the Indian mythology. And this uh, Goddess is a very raging, uh, powerful goddess. Scary a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's very scary. Actually, L maybe you can see somewhere here a sculpture of her. Like a Jewish mother. Uh, <laughs> not, they can also be scary. No, actually, this wasn't the connection that I found. <laughs> I'm kidding. I will tell you about that in a minute. Uh, but this uh, goddess, um, what happens is she's killing. Uh, the demons. She was created in order to kill the demons. But at one point it got out of control and she started ruining the world. So Shiva, God Shiva, the almighty Shiva, wanted to stop her, but he was unable because she was so strong. So he had this uh, trick. He transformed himself into a baby. And the moment she saw the baby, she found this compassion and this motherly uh, feeling inside her, so she took him and she breastfed him and he sucked some of her evilness. And this uh, moment of transition between something so rageous, aggressive, powerful into something so compassion, I found this connection between this transition in uh, the moment of giving birth that I experienced twice. Fascinating. Yeah, so this very tiny uh, moment was uh, the inspiration for this piece. And the Indian dancers came with their knowledge and their experience and their training in uh, classical Indian dance, although they are completely contemporary, uh, well-trained uh, dancers. And me, uh, with my uh, knowledge and training and ideas, and Pergulesi's, the, the Italian composer, uh, Stabat Mater, and this um, Dedica combination... Dedicated to another famous mother? Yeah, exactly. The morning mother, Mary, that is uh, watching her son being crucified. So this uh, cross-culture was uh, the base of my piece. Inbal, what can we wish you for the future? when it comes to dance, when it comes to being a choreographer? Um, well, what I wish to myself is, first of all, being uh, able to create and be in a very consistent, creative process. Um, this, this is the first uh, thing. Second thing, I would, when I come to create a dance piece, I usually think of something um, very personal, very small, but yet universal. Because I truly believe that if you take something so personal and you really reduce it into the is essence, then you touch something that is relevant to all the human race. So really my aim is to create something that is not just 
something that talks to people nowadays in this moment, but something that would reach people even if they see my piece 50 years from now, or 200 years from now, uh, hopefully. So we wish you all that and much more than that. Thank you so much. Thank you for taking the time and keep on spoiling us with your wonderful work and your cultural dialogue with other cultures. Thank you. Toda rabba, shalom. Toda.